Here's the Science Fair 100 kilohertz uh, marker generator kit and it seems not to work. So I've gone through and traced the schematic out here. And what I found out is that this transistor here is probably dead. It should be about six tenths of a volt above the emitter. The base should be, but it's barely above it. And right now I've got a wire connected over here. And I've got that connected up to the antenna. And you can hear the that it on this DX160 you can hear that you've got the that's 5.1 megahertz five point two megahertz so what it is on this this puts out every hundred kilohertz is going to put up harmonic out and you turn this on over here and what a lot it does it puts a marker you go ahead and line this say to WWV 5 megahertz you can zero beat it with this little trimmer cap and once you've done that you can go through here and use this to line your band spread or you can go through here and just put this on 5 kind of figure out where you are you can go ahead and count over the number of blips blip 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 so maybe 5.3 this is 5.4 so it it's an aid in the pre-digital area area to kind of figure out where the heck you are on a an older radio this is a DX 160 I picked up at a swap meet for I want to say 40 bucks two years ago 40 50 bucks seems to work pretty well it's not all that aligned. I've got this in USB mode here so I do get a, a little bit of a, a, a pitch off a fixed frequency. This is in this button here and this one is happens to be flaky. I'm going to have to replace this. If you put this in AM mode you will get a, a response off this thing but it's not going to be a squeal. You'll get like a big right there every hundred kilohertz so anyways this is the DX uh, I'm not sure what the science fair number is on this I built this years ago and it went, actually went underwater in Katrina I've cleaned it all off the batteries on here tend to pop out with time so the uh, it's got four double A three double A's and the plastic tends to pull out the batteries will pop out after a second but here's the schematic I've got and I just trace this out pretty sure that's correct there's a hundred kilohertz crystal the trimmer these are the three batteries in series this is the transistor it's a 2N3904 this is the oscillator and then this is the buffer that goes in and amplifies it and then this is a coupling capacitor here this is the output which is this terminal here so normally you hook this up to here and you loosely couple it to your antenna and I tried that and it doesn't have any output so I went ahead and went through the uh, trace out the schematic because I can't find the paperwork I didn't find anything on the internet and maybe my Google search wasn't good enough but this should be I believe six tenths of a volt higher here and I just went through this with a crummy meter so take these numbers with a grain of salt but this probably should be six tenths of a volt higher and then there should be output on here but right now there's nothing on this but I do have it on here so that's good indication this 2N3904 here is shorted out maybe it's because I hooked the batteries up a long time ago backwards or just uh, it was time to go because it went under water. That was a perf kit from uh, Radio Shack. Let me turn this off. And this is the transistor here that drives the crystal. And then this is the buffering transistor. This one on here, 
it looks like it's a blue gray or it's a violet gray and I'm suspecting it's probably blue which would be the 6.9 K here this is the 15 K this is the 180 K over here all the capacitors are 0.01 microfarad and this guy over here is 502 P this was a kit built it years ago that's why it's a little bit sloppy switch on this is a little bit flaky too that's why I've got this jumpered out but the this type of thing with the batteries on this what can happen is you leave the batteries in there with time and it uh, the plastic just goes to crap and so uh, this guy if you leave the batteries in there for a minute or two it just they'll pop out it's got a crack here that's a DX160 communications receiver a lot of electrical junk going on in this room that's why it sounds like crap here you can pick up sideband with this this is the BFO pitch see it's silent there I have to play with the switch put a toothpick in it to get it to work that's AM this is the later model. There's two different versions of these. I think this this was built in '77. They were built in Japan. It's actually a fairly sensitive receiver. It's pretty amazing. But again, it's got a band spread here, so you have to play around with it to kind of uh, learn how to use this, especially if you're used to using a digital radio.